This bowl has more than 60 grams of protein and it takes less than 45 minutes to make. You're looking at a Mediterranean ground chicken bowl. And this is a summer staple in our house, whether we need quick weeknight dinners or meal prep protein option for rice bowls. In this video, I'll show you how to make the honey Risa ground chicken and the lower carb rice bowls. And I'm pretty confident this will also be a new staple in your house. Let's get to the recipe. Start by heating a large pan over medium high heat with a tablespoon of olive oil. Once the oil is hot, add your ground chicken and cook it for four to five minutes without flipping to brown one side. You're looking for a nice golden brown color. You might notice that I like to pat my proteins dry with a paper towel before adding to the pan. This really helps with browning. If you have trouble finding ground chicken in your grocery store, ground turkey works fine for this recipe as a replacement, but it's surprisingly easy to make your own ground chicken. I'll link to a blog post of mine in the description below that teaches you how to make ground chicken using a knife, a food processor, or a meat grinder, depending on the equipment you have handy. It also breaks down the macros and how to make different fat ratios by using chicken breast or chicken thighs or a combo of the two. Moving on to the sauce, you'll need two tablespoons or 30 grams of lemon juice, a third cup or 111 grams of harissa paste. I'm using one from Trader Joe's, but you can find this in most stores. Just be sure to use harissa paste, not harissa sauce. You'll also need one third cup or 111 grams of honey, two teaspoons of kosher salt, and a teaspoon of granulated garlic or garlic powder. Just mix all this together until smooth and then set it aside until the chicken's fully cooked. As a quick note on spice level, I find this particular harissa paste to be on the milder side, but you may want to taste the sauce before adding to the chicken if you or someone in your house is sensitive to spice. You can add a bit more sweetness via honey or acidity via lemon juice, and that'll really help tame that heat if you decide the sauce is a little too spicy for your liking. Before adding the sauce to the cooked chicken, I like to break it into pretty small pieces. The more surface area, the better, in my opinion. Once you've added the sauce to the pan, stir everything together and cook until the sauce thickens and the honey starts to caramelize around the edges. It shouldn't take more than three to four minutes. At that point, you can turn the heat all the way down and just keep the chicken warm while you prep everything for the protein bowls. Okay, let's talk rice. One of my favorite ways to add more volume to protein bowls is with a blend of the real deal and the dreaded cauliflower rice. With the right ratios, you'll never know the cauliflower is there. For these bowls, I took another shortcut and paired a 10 ounce bag of frozen rice cauliflower with a 20 ounce bag of frozen basmati rice. Using frozen keeps this recipe in the 30 minute range but you're welcome to cook your own rice or use other rice options. Once the rice is in the microwave, you can move on to the other fixings. I use some mini Persian cucumbers, or some might call them cucumbers. Don't worry, this is the only remaining ingredient that requires a bit of knife work. Just slice the cucumbers into half moons and add them to a bowl. For the rest of the pairings, I went with tzatziki, pickled onions, reduced fat feta, and hummus. Get creative, I've used things like diced avocado and honey lemon vinaigrette, but I wanted to keep things pretty simple for this video. This rice combo makes five and a half cups of rice, which you can portion how you see fit. You'll have around 24 ounces of honey harissa chicken to work with. That's a nice round number to make four, six, eight protein bowls as big or as small as you'd like. I'll give you the macros for everything in the description of this video so you can build bowls to fit your needs. I'll also include a link to the recipe on my website in case you wanna print and pin this on your fridge or get some more ideas for macro adjustments, rice alternatives, stuff like that. And if you enjoyed this video, check out our firecracker ground chicken or ground chicken tinga recipes next. We'll see you next time.